people from across the world woke up to the politics of data and the politics of technology. I talk about the big asymmetries underpinning the digital ecosystem right now. One is the asymmetry between what we can do as individuals and what the machines that are deployed online can do. But it would be wrong to say that these machines are some sort of superheroes. They're not. They are, there are individuals behind them. Yeah, the power dynamic is the power dynamic between control that they have over us and lack of control that we've got. But I want to be fully in control of what the harms can be so I can address them. That's the problem. We, having these conversations doesn't make us anti-tech. It's the opposite. It's wanted tech to work for everybody and not just for a few people out there. I think privacy is a major collective public good that relates to the dignity of individuals. In the age of algorithms, I see privacy and the right to have an autonomous life. And by mean autonomous, I mean not conditioned. These algorithms have ended up playing a role of constructors of reality and being some real gates to what you're exposed to and what you're not exposed to. So to me, privacy in this age is around autonomy from all this. And where is the line between this power of algorithms and the individual navigating the world and making their own choices, not mediated by these machines? And when I say machines, I'm not talking about some divine thing. I'm talking about systems built and created by humans. We are responding with technology to issues that are very much political. Does it surprise you that algorithms are biased? And does it surprise you that a bank is giving more credit to men than women? The problem with technology is that, and the use of algorithms and machine learning, is that not only does it take all this bias and codes, into the system, codes them into the system, but scales them up. Why do algorithms discriminate? Because they are ingested and they're fed and they eat the fed data, which is not neutral, but is the mirror of society. The line between what is personal data and what is not personal data is very blurred in 2020. You know, we need measures for accountability. We need measures for transparency. I do think we need a public sector log of all algorithms. There is one concern that, that I think is quite interesting, which is around the digital ecosystem we live in. We're not talking about something neutral, but we're talking about social technical artifacts that breathe the life of the people who've developed them, the companies that sponsor them, and also the societies where they are deployed.